Hello and welcome to a very special something different everyone. Um, I'm going to be talking a little bit about uh, Warhammer, which is a, a hobby I've had for a while. So please uh, forgive me in my indulgences. So let me take you back. It was uh, around 2014. I had taken a bit of a break from uh, the game and I had started to get back into it. And um, one fun thing was... I was like, oh, I'm going to start uh, recollecting uh, my Warhammer Fantasy Battles High Elf Army. I didn't have one of the cheap ones. I, I played in an earlier edition than 8th. And um, that's around the time that they announced that Warhammer Fantasy Battles was ending with 8th edition in about 2015. And there's going to be a, an interesting little thing here uh, in that both... 8th edition for Fantasy Battles and 40k kind of herald a changing of things. So this is pertinent to anybody who plays Age of Sigmar in that people referred to one of the main factions in the Age of Sigmar as, uh, well, basically uh, ground marines, <laughs> sigmarines, whatever. And they are recently going to be getting Primarist. They're getting bigger and better units that their main selling point is that they're just taller and a little more lanky, I might add, and look a little awkward to me. I'm not really a fan of them. And uh, this kind of comes back into one of the things I think is um, kind of a pivotal thing. If you like them, that's great. If you love, hate them, that's also fine. And that would be the Primaris. So in 2017, um, with 8th edition, they brought in the Primaris, whose main selling point was they were, well, taller. <laughs> Which might come as a little bit of a surprise to you. And why I think it's funny is, effectively, love them or hate them, doesn't matter what you, your personal feelings are, they kind of open the door for the company to basically just ramrod any alteration or change they wanted into the setting. And with people basically buying it up like they did with the Primaris, you end up in a situation where they feel that they can just go, okay, well, we'll just bring something taller in and that'd be the selling point. So we can just kind of take sweeping changes to the lore and just apply it and people will swallow that like swill. And I think that's where it's interesting because we have major alterations to lore for really no reason, especially with the female custodes. Makes no sense. Doesn't go the other way, I might add. And it adds nothing. Um, it doesn't make anyone happy. It makes everything less. I mean, instead of giving us a bigger and better and more interesting Sisters of Silence line, we're going to get token female custodes that really add nothing to the line but anger people, screw with the lore, make the lore more spongy, and make it easier for it to to be walked away from for people to basically give up on things like they did with Star Wars and Star Trek and Battletech or whatever these uh, games are where they make sweeping changes to the lore with no consideration to its after effects to appease no one. And I think this is where, you know, it's, it, this is more of a video just talking about this little thing I'm going to be calling the Primaris Effect. So, it's when you introduce something, and I, you can call it like a big ask, or whatever you want to, and you wrap it in something that people obviously wanted. So, people wanted true scale marines, which primaries really aren't true scale, but that's beyond the point. And you make the, the change tied to that thing they want, but altering or opening the door to, well, what we've seen with the Stormcast and the Primaris, a massive expansion of the lines, a gigantic load of confusing yet similarly made kind of units, and just making it so you can just pump out endless units without any consideration for the story, for the customer, for anything that makes sense. 
so f- like the Stormcast, the Primaris have just squads that are sold different or separately that have one weapon variation which serve effectively the same point. And this is where I think you kind of open the doors to a lot of the bigger problems. One, it just make, means the company can scale up the the sellers to obscene levels to the point where eventually the Primaris will end up having a giant call of their line, just like what they did with the Firstborn, and or the actual Space Marines in my opinion. And it will just continue to go on and it'll probably go faster and faster and you'll probably see it every two to three years with addition churn. And the other element of this is, okay, well, when people basically bought it because they were really excited, and I don't blame people for being excited, about bigger, taller, more, they look more like what Space Marines are talked about size-wise, let's ignore the, the stupid mark of armor they're in, discount mark four, um, you end up in this situation where the lore ramifications are swept under the rug and people go, well, I bought this thing and now I'm going to become defensive when people criticize the stuff around it. And that's where I think really we run into this issue is that it's a Trojan horse that brings in this ability for them to just chuck the lore out the window and to add anything they want without considering the buy-in of people for the lore. And no, you're not bringing in people who care that really that there's air quote female custodes. These people aren't buying these things. All you're doing is basically shoving the old lore in people's face and going, what you cared about is worthless. Screw off. We have your money. And it's for really nothing. And I have a feeling that has a lot to do with the fact that in my opinion, I don't think Games Workshop has a plan past 2030. I don't think they have even considered being in the miniature business by then. So the main problem here is not so much that there's a female custode. There are ways to have done something like that. The problem is, is that they didn't care enough to actually make it work within the lore or to make any sense or to earn anything. They just said, hey, look, with the primaries, we slammed in this uh, alteration to the lore and people bought it. So now we can slam this in and it doesn't matter because screw the lore, screw the buy-in of people, screw everything. Get that churn on so you can make some quick dollars off pointless garbage and see the ramifications of diminishing returns. The prices are already too high. The the lore has basically taken a nosedive. And now you're just burning away your foundation of people and taking something away from people. Because the folks that have pushed this the most really just care about taking things away from people in the end. And I think that's just a despicable and disgusting way for people to have done things. But this is what happens when you invite people in who want to see your house burn. They will burn your house down and they will feel really good about making you homeless. And I think that's a sad thing to be in. And people should really start looking back at how these things are brought in as stuff you want. So, you know, that's all I'm going to say right now. I'll make some more uh, detailed kind of uh, videos. I'm planning on doing more Warhammer 40k stuff. Or at least stuff involving miniatures and uh, miniature type stuff. Because I had been sent recently by my father a number of stuff I had from when I was a teenager. So I'll be showing some of that off and uh, have a fantastic day. Bye-bye.